not in that Friday feeling mood right now. We have had the busiest morning we've had in ages. It's been so busy. We've had so much to catch up on, so many deadlines, so many phone calls to make and so much editing to do. We've spent all morning and all last night actually after we ended the vlog. But we're all about positivity you guys and I've just realised that I'm just moaning. What am I moaning for? I've got nothing to moan for at all. But I hope you guys are having the most amazing Friday or Saturday by the time you watch this. In fact, by the time you are watching this, me and Isabel will be at Hangout Live, which is an event in Birmingham, and we are so excited. Sadly, we could only get tickets for two people, but Chris and the girls, the little two, are going to have some fun at home, and I'm actually, I always feel like such a bad parent when I say this, but I don't mean it in, the, in a bad way at all, but I'm really excited to having like a one-on-one -on -one day with Isabel. I love having one-on-one -on -one days. I think it's so important and so special to the girls to just give them that one-on-one -on -one time, and we've not done that in a while. We need to get back on that because it's so important. It's just as important as family time. Doing that one special thing that they enjoy doing. I think this weekend's definitely going to be Isabel's and then hopefully next weekend we'll do something from with Esme and then the weekend after with Isla because they all like different things. Like I know if we said to Esme, what would you like to do this weekend? Anything you want. She'd probably pick like women or ice skating and that's like Isabel's worst thing. If you said to Isabel, what's something you really don't want to do this weekend? She'd be like, swimming, ice skating. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this weekend's going to be a fun one. However, I've still not even had a cup of tea this morning or a drink of water or anything. Oh gosh, guys, I can't wait for this coleslaw to go. It's so frustrating. It's like the easiest one I've had because it went straight away. It's scabbed over so bad and it looks terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna stop moaning because you guys don't tune in here to listen to me moan. Going to get this glass of water, finish off this editing that I've just almost finished doing jump on a Skype call that I've got in about 20 minutes and then we'll be back to start this Friday in a positive way. Okay guys, if I'm not being miserable and moaning, I'm crying. <laughs> What is wrong with me? Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so emotional. We're just editing Isabel's, doing the last few edits for her on her meet and greet that she did on Saturday. She makes me so proud, guys. <laughs> It was me to watch it. It's crazy. <laughs> it's mad what happened. Hey, have a good day. What <laughs> oh, are your sweets? <laughs> You're <laughs> such a pig. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, guys, I can't even. I'm so proud of my girls. It's not even funny. Like, obviously, as a parent, you're always proud of your child. But I honestly just look at them and think, how did I do this? How did I do something so right and get them so perfect? Every parent thinks their child's perfect, but I'm just so proud, guys. Honestly, so proud. It was probably, like, aside from, like, having the girls, the days I had the girls, probably one of the, actually, the best day of my life. Yeah, it was crazy. It was so good. And even Isabel keeps saying, it's the best day of my life. I'm watching back that footage of her then, because obviously me and Chris were part of the meeting Greet. We were mingling with you guys and having pictures taken and things and that was amazing But we missed out on seeing Isabel doing some of those shots Like there was one part where I was stood at the side just watching her on stage thinking wow I'm so proud right now, but seeing that and all the oh my gosh, I'm just so proud guys who loves orange juice with Pineapple so that actually sounds way more tropical than what it is. It's actually just Robinson's fruit juice But with pineapple and orange it tastes so good Anyway guys, we're about to head out and he's going to the sorting office and pick up something that arrived about a week ago and it's going to be sent back if we don't go and pick it up today. And then I think I'll probably come home and do some more jobs because we just got so much to do today. And as it's Friday, I kind of want to get it all done so that we can have fun over the weekend and not have to worry about it tonight. The girls have also got swimming. And so Chris has got a friend who has a, an old fashioned sweetie shop. And we've been saying we're going to go for ages and we've not managed to actually go there yet just because we're often just busy or we forget to go or... Isabel's not with us and we want to go when Isabel's here. Tonight, I don't think we actually have anything planned, so we might go there after school as a little Friday night treat for the girls. So we're just at the sorting office and oh my goodness, guys, I am starving, starving, marving so, so much. It's about 1 p.m. now or just after and I've not even had breakfast. Yes, mate. <laughs> so one package was from our merchandise company with some of our new merch. Oh my goodness, look at these cups right now. These are so good for summer. 
There's so many goodies in here, guys. Have you seen these amazing new t-shirts? These are such good quality. They're so nice, they're so soft, and I love that they're like embroidered with IFAM in the shades. I absolutely love those. I think that's going to fit Isla, hopefully. But yeah, got lots of new pop sockets. Ooh, positive pineapple range, which I am in love with. Oh my gosh, it's for my phone case. Yeah, got lots of different colors. Oh, we got one for Sassy Belle as well. I absolutely love this one. It's so nice. What else have we got in this bag? We got some more for Sassy Belle because they sent us out some last week and they were the wrong phone. But we did a competition and some of you guys won those. They have been posted today. So hopefully you'll receive those soon. Also got some shades and a pouch. For... Yes, mate. Oh, yes, mate. That was all good. <laughs> And their little pouch that the shades come in which is quite cool yeah they look so cool hey, yeah, look wicked, those yeah i'm gonna put one in my phone right now love this hat though to look cool yeah that's wicked i also just found in the stuff that sabudo sent us these water bottles which i love so much they're so cute I'm loving life even more because we've stopped off at a sandwich shop and Chris has just run in to get me a tuna sandwich. I'm so hungry and we don't have time to stop anywhere today and grab lunch and we don't have time to go back home and make lunch. So we're out and about and I thought, let's just stop in this sandwich shop right here, which looks divine. Get me a tuna crunch sandwich. I love bones. I love beef sticks. They make my tongue come out and lick my face. I love it when mummy gives them to me. Come over here, sweetheart. Come on. Come over here. Come over here. Sit. Sit down like a good girl. And I will give it to you. There you go. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. Look who's home from school. Hi. Having a very nice chilled Friday evening playing up here with lots of toys. <laughs> I was just doing the Generation Dolls hair. Aww. And like, they're really soft and it feels like real life hair. Like, oh, <laughs> your, hair, your hair is so funny right now. <laughs> it's all frizzy and sticking up, but it looks yeah, but fine. But tomorrow I'll look like a sassy potato. Sassy spud. Potato was spud that was like, yeah. Are you going to wash it tonight? Are you going to just take it out and leave it curly for tomorrow? Uh, mm, I'd leave it. I'd leave, I'd, I'm going to leave it in. Yeah, I'd leave it. Like take your plots out in the morning. Yeah. And then it'll be nice and wavy. You can wash it when we get home. Oh, you've gone really blurry. Oh, cute. Very so cute. And if any of you guys are wondering where Isla is, then you may or may not know that on Friday she does glee club at school. So it's like a singing, dancing potatoes. <laughs> it's like a singing and dancing after school club that she really enjoys doing. She started this term and she loves it so much. So she's there until four, which is actually just coming up. It's about quarter two now. So Chris has just gone to get her from glee. Oh my goodness. This little one dressed herself today. <laughs> You look cool, Isla. I said everybody in my class is Mazagin. You're Mazagin. 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 Come on, girls. Here is where we're going. Britain's sweets. Yummy, yes. yummy. Let's go. Ooh. Oh my goodness, we're just rocking up on my friend's sweet shop right now in Eden, and I'm a little bit excited. Britain's sweets. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Hey, man. How's it going? Oh, this place looks amazing. Yo, this place has all of my favorites, literally all of my favorites. They've got some amazing things. Like, look at these shelves. They literally have every type of sweet from all over the world in here. It's craziness. And this back wall just looks so good. I'm like, yeah. Did anybody else's grandparents used to get those down there? Do you remember them? I remember, remember them. I'm I sure some, oh. some in high school used to sell them every day <laughs> on the school bus. <laughs> yeah, I do remember them. There. Yeah, nice. for old time's sake. Let's have some taste tests going on, girls. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I know those gobstoppers are bigger than your entire head. And you're definitely not getting one of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These millions? There's so many different flavours. We've got blue ones, orange ones, strawberry ones. What's this? <gasps> That's sherbet, I think. Is that right, Tom? Yeah. 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 Dip, dip, dip yeah. a lollies in, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, do you remember those? Oh yeah, they're so good. They've got like a top and a fruit in yeah. it. Yeah, guys, comment below. Comment below who remembers these bonbons from when they were younger. Those are those are retro, those are retro sweets for sure. They were like, when I was a kid for sure, yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm actually going to go behind the counter because, you know, 
friends' perks and all, and do my own. I've always wanted to use the scales <laughs> and measure out my own sweets. I'm literally way more excited than what I should be right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm literally so excited to weigh out my own quarter of something. Hi miss, can I have some strawberries and some midget gems please? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Loving life. So, give you... Oh, we'll make sure you're getting your quarter on. So, you've got 62 grams there, 72. I need to, and we need to buy a sweet shop. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm, Is Isla's getting in there as well. Excuse me Savannah, you're supposed to be this side of the counter please. <laughs> <laughs> Just like yo, I'm taking all these home. Oh, oh, oh we're good. To push back. We're already at 120, 130. <laughs> Alright, so we're going for the daddy mix now. We've got a bit of Yorkshire mixture. Grandpa's gonna be very jealous. Oh yeah, my absolute favourite. And grandpa's favourite if you're watching this dad, sorry mate. I'm not sharing. Sorry mate. Sorry mate. <laughs> sorry dad. And daughter-in-law's not being good because she's not going to get you a quarter. <laughs> I think you should give me a job, Tom, to be fair. Yeah. Thank you very much. Work here. Yeah. Okay, what do I want now? <laughs> what do I, I want? Yourself, you got to <laughs> you eat your own profits, kid. <laughs> so you don't get no sweets today. Oh, that was so much fun. It was so nice to, to go down and visit Tom's shop. But we have been meaning to come down for a little while, but, you know, life, life just kind of got in the way. But... That was really, really nice. If you haven't checked out Britain Sweets on Yidden High Street, come down and check him out, show Tom some love. He does online orders as well. I'm gonna link him all up down below. Check it out, they have some amazing things in there. Not just like your standard sweets, they've got sweets from all over, plus they've got sugar-free sweets, ice creams, you name it, they do all sorts of kind of things. So yeah, I'll link it all below, check them out. What a genuinely awesome guy Tom is. If you haven't already checked out his sweet shop, it's Britain's Sweets in Yidden. They do online orders and they, he's also starting to do like wedding favours and wedding carts so you can hire him him out for your wedding which is something we did didn't we and um, it was it went down so well with the guests just being able to like fill us a bag of pick and mix it was so sweet and he's also starting that so you can order online or anything and it's just so cool and we really appreciate him letting us go into the shop and have a little play around the sweets. What a great sweet shop. I absolutely love old fashioned ones like that. Looking back and seeing sweets from my childhood and things, it's great. Anyway guys, we're heading over to the swimming lessons right now. We've just got back from swimming and I am about to prepare a chicken salad for dinner because that's what we fancy tonight for tea. Prinny can definitely smell the chicken. She's walking around the kitchen, smelling up at the side. She knows it's there for sure. And then when we've done that, I think we might start watching an episode of Lost because... Yeah, yeah, you... yeah. You guys yeah, need to get... Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. all need to get you... early night tonight because these guys are up like We're at the crack five. of dawn. No, six, mum. Half Mom five. Up at half five. Half five. We've got a train to catch at seven. An hour. I need to go and get a shower. Anyway guys, we did call it Asda and I managed to find a cucumber. A cucumber yeah, a lime and cucumber Sprite. These are so delicious. And loads of you have been tweeting me pictures of you drinking them with like a straw and loads of ice and they just look so refreshing and nice. So I cannot wait and I had to get one for the train. But I just did, had to turn the camera on Isla right then because she's doing the funkiest dance I ever did see. Are you happy it's Friday, Isla? Yeah. Is this your Friday dance? Yeah. So the girls have never played Fortnite. They do know what it is, but only from but only from friends at school. But they've all come home doing this dance. No, that's not it either. It's like what is it? I've got no idea. Like a unicorn? Are you supposed to be a unicorn? You can be a unicorn, and that's it. <laughs> right, girls. I'm going to prepare some dinner, and then we can go watch some TV. Okay. Hey guys, we have just got back back from swimming, and I just want to quickly say how far the girls have come in swimming they have come so far say when they first started especially isla because isla couldn't swim and now isla can swim they've both just come so far and i'm very proud of them but yeah all i really want to do now is get into some pajamas and watch an episode of lost with mum girls and dad maybe not the girls because we're going to see the rating on it obviously if it's a 12 and then we're not going to let them watch it but if it is 
um, under, then we're going to let them watch it. But if not, me, mum and dad are going to watch it all together, which will be really nice. I had a few issues last night because with my Musical.ly account, it was really strange actually. I was on my phone and I don't know if someone was hacking into it or was just something wrong with the app last night. Comment down below guys because if you had some malfunctions with it as well, that would be, be pretty good to know. So I was going on like this and it was just doing random things by itself so I was really confused. Um, but then I reset my phone and came back onto it and it was absolutely fine. But I was quite worried at first. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do, go do some musicals now and post them. So pretty much we've all just finished up getting showers and getting ready for bed and having a little bit of a play, having lots of fun. These guys are just busting some Lego right now, having the best time ever. That's so cool, Esme. I love those light brick Legos. Yeah. They're really cool. And we have, so I have this and then I'm going to attach one of, um, so we have a wire that I can attach that to the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to get this, put it under the house um, bit, and and then the floor is going to light up on our bedroom. Oh, that's so cool. And this now is so I'm going to attach this bit to there and then this is going to be the, like the sofa. That's so cool. And in this bit, I'm going to make the kitchen. You are so creative. I love yeah. it. You're such a clever girl. Are oh, you want to kiss too? Come here then. 90% this way. 90%, 10%. Mm. Oh, okay, darling. You eating some popcorn? Your little popcorn head? Mm -mm. Anyway, guys. Oh, I'm so freaked out right now. Oh, isn't the greatest showman on here, Esme? Why are you freaking out, Boo Boo? That's the greatest showman on here. <laughs> Anyway, so we're just on Amazon Prime Video looking for Lost because Isabel really wants to watch Lost with us, but we just wanted to make sure that it was like an appropriate rating before we like let the girls watch it with us. Anyway, it turns out we can get The Greatest Showman on Amazon Prime Video and I yeah. know I'm a little bit excited about that right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do that again, Isla, that's so funny. <laughs> what did you do, Isla? It's a you've gone a bit red, darling. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous girl. Hello. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, is everyone happy now? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Who is my? <laughs> hey, hey, come here, Ella. No. Come here. No. Come here. No. Come here. No. Who are you in love with? And it better stay that way till you're at least 30. <laughs> no. No greatest shaman tonight, fools. I promise, though. I promise we'll have a movie night and watch it, okay, in the next couple of days. Not tonight, though. Okay. And Esme will get to watch Zac Efron as much as she wants. Yes. I can see that little beetroot face. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> you know! There you go, Sarah singing in the shower. We've just been checking out Lost and it's a 15, so I don't think we're gonna be watching that tonight, especially not with the little two. So I think we're gonna find something else to watch, right, girls? Not The Greatest Showman, though. We'll watch The Greatest Showman another night, okay? Definitely, we'll watch another that, I promise. But we're gonna find something else to watch as like a family now, just before bed, because these guys need an early night tonight because they've got a very early start tomorrow. You feel my mouth? Have we even, um... Ooh. I've got no makeup on It's really all. soft. But I've used like a really good cleanser. Anyway, these guys have got a massively, amazingly busy day tomorrow. Isabel and Sarah, they're going off on a road trip, a train trip to Birmingham to a big YouTube event. It's gonna be really, really good. I don't get to go, but it's all good because I'm doing something else as well, which is gonna be super fun, but we'll talk about that tomorrow more. So we're gonna watch something, girls? Yeah. Okay, let's do it.
time for bed because that is said. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Mwah! Good night, sweetie pie. Good Just gonna be me and you in the morning. Me and you and little Bob over there. Time little Bob Rin. Kiss, please. Mwah. Mwah. Mama's gonna be leaving the house at like six. So we get like two and a half extra hours, man. Like, yeah, put right there. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Okay, guys. I love you. One, two, three. Two lights go anybody. One, two, three. Right, I love you guys. See you in the morning. Sleep tight. Lots of sleepings. Nice dreams. Shout me if you need me for anything. I love you very much. Good night. Bye bye. Hey baby girl. You have got such a busy, busy day tomorrow. Are you excited? Yes. I'm well excited for you. And I'm well gel. Mwah. I love you so much. Yeah. Expect me. Mind you, I'll be getting up with you while I to help you get ready and that, so it's all yeah. good. But I will definitely be going back to sleep when you get out at six. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I'll be sleeping on the train like... I love you. Happy. All right, go on then. You can go sleep with Isabel for a bit. I'll come and get you soon. Do you want to go see Isabel? All right, guys, I'll leave you to it. I love you. See you in the morning, Pops. Sleep tight, baby. Okay, let's do a question of the day. Um, Quite a lot of you guys have got your year six sats sats tests coming up next week and who've been asking for some advice and things like that so the only bit of advice that i can give you that i really hope you guys think about on the day and take and take with you is that you can only do what you can do don't compare yourself to other people don't stress out too much these tests are important but they're not the end of the world so if you don't do as good as you're hoping to do it doesn't mean you're a failure it doesn't mean you failed it doesn't mean you're going nowhere in life it it literally doesn't mean that at all and in fact i didn't do great in my year six sats i think it was rated like one, two, three, four, five, and I think I got threes for everything. So even though it wasn't the worst, it wasn't the best. It's kind of in the middle. But that doesn't mean that I didn't go on to high school and get good grades and good grades at GCSE, etc., etc. So don't let it completely take over you. Don't let it ruin anything like that. Don't let it stress your weekend out or your week. And just try your best, and that's all you can do. And if you try your best, then it will be worth it. Me and Isabel have got a super fun girly weekend planned this weekend, and I'm so excited. And she's really excited, and I'm really excited because tomorrow we're going to hang out live in Birmingham but we do have a 5 30 a.m wake up call so I'm getting my eyes closed right now guys all right guys yeah on that note we're all going to have fun days tomorrow we're all doing separate things it's going to be really random and weird and good and then lots of cool stuff happening on Sunday too so yeah check back tomorrow night at 5 p.m and come and see until then thank you so much for watching we will see you there good night guys Hi, Ava. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on tonight's video. King of Fire and the best song is ever. Make sure you stay tuned for more. Good, Good night, Ava. Mm -hmm.